good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great, great, one more great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click on another video. Well, this is the new channel. It's called Countryman Canada, and it's in part with six degrees of separation from out of Toronto. And uh, I will be bringing the hard eating news, the gangster them out of Canada, Toronto, wherever in Canada, because Toronto have some really notorious and some really nasty dirty boy over there. You understand? So Thanks for the support for Jamaica first, country first, you know that's the first channel, well this one now, like I say, we're gonna definitely gear towards Canada and this is one of the first videos with the new name and this is a culprit name, Anthony Daniels, what made Anthony Daniels so prolific? I actually know this young man, I should say big man now car, the whole of a big man and I didn't even realize that it was somebody I've, I've known and uh, a friend of mine pointed out to me, I understand but Anthony Daniels, what I would say is for this young man right here so uh, you have a thing with him, greed I mean, I tell you, you see the greed, if the man them can't stop the greedy, they will, I would have been doing better, but the greed, and that's what I'm saying for this man here. Sit back, I enjoy this uh, mini documentary, it's only 7 minutes long, that I made on Anthony Daniels, uh, Jamaica serial drug smuggler, yo. Let's go. Have you ever wondered how a global issue like drug trafficking affects individuals, communities and nations alike? Drug trafficking, a sinister web spun across the globe, is not just about the illicit exchange of substances. It's a saga of power, control and devastation, leaving a trail of shattered lives and destabilized societies in its wake. In this complex tapestry, we find threads leading us to every corner of the world. And today, our focus turns to one such thread. A thread that weaves a tale of a man named Anthony Daniels. At 50 years old, this resident of St. Andrew, Jamaica has found himself caught up in the sweeping tide of this global scourge. Wanted in the United States for alleged narcotics-related offenses, Daniels stands as a testament to the far-reaching effects of drug trafficking. Now let's delve deeper into the intriguing case of Anthony Daniels. In February last year, US officials launched an investigation into a drug trafficking network based in Jamaica and Philadelphia, a small spark that soon ignited a blaze of international intrigue and covert operations. An investigation that would span across borders, break through the barriers of jurisdiction and unite two nations in a common cause, a web of illicit activities, a network of shadowy figures, and at the heart of it all, a man named Anthony Daniels, a resident of St. Andrew. 50 years old, and now, wanted in the United States for alleged narcotics-related offenses. The investigation began in earnest. A symphony of diligent detective work, covert surveillance and information sharing between the United States and Jamaican officials. The stakes were high, the operation complex. Every step had to be measured, Every lead had to be pursued, every stone left unturned. For months, an intricate dance of cat and mouse ensued. The team of investigators, armed with their badges and their determination, began to piece together the puzzle. They traced the threads of the drug trafficking network, followed the breadcrumbs, and slowly, the picture began to emerge. The months of surveillance led to a major breakthrough. A significant quantity of cocaine was discovered at Philadelphia International Airport, a discovery that confirmed their suspicions. The network was real, its reach was far, and its implications were vast. The investigators had hit the first domino, 
a domino that would lead to a chain of events unraveling the depth and breadth of the operation. But the discovery of the cocaine was just the tip of the iceberg. It was a confirmation, a validation of their work, but it was not the end. It was the start of a journey that would take them deeper into the underbelly of the international drug trade. A journey that would reveal a network more complex and far-reaching than they could have ever imagined. But what they discovered next was more alarming than they had anticipated. By December, US officials made a shocking discovery at Philadelphia International Airport. A significant quantity of cocaine, meticulously concealed, was unearthed, shaking the foundation of an extensive drug trafficking network operating between Jamaica and Philadelphia. This was no small find. The sheer volume of the illicit substance spoke volumes about the scale and audacity of the operation. It was a clear testament to the fact that drug trafficking had burrowed its way into the underbelly of society, operating under the radar of law enforcement. This discovery was a stark reminder of the global scourge of drug trafficking and its unyielding grip on our society. The cocaine was linked to the network that US officials had been investigating from February to December the previous year. A network that was slowly but surely being exposed. The connection was undeniable. The pieces of the puzzle were falling into place, painting a grim picture of a well-oiled, highly organized operation stretching across borders and oceans. The discovery sent shockwaves through the network. Panic set in. The individuals involved, once confident in their clandestine operations, now found themselves exposed and vulnerable. The walls were closing in and there was no place to hide. The ramifications of this discovery were far-reaching. The discovery of the cocaine was not just evidence of a crime, it was a catalyst for action. It transformed the investigation from a local concern into an international issue. It was no longer just about Philadelphia or Jamaica, it was about the global fight against drug trafficking. The discovery was a call to action, a demand for justice. It set the stage for a relentless pursuit of those responsible. The spotlight was now on the players behind the scenes, the puppet masters controlling the strings. Among them, a name stood out. Anthony Daniels, a 50-year-old resident of St. Andrew, now wanted in the US for alleged narcotics-related offenses. This discovery led to an international manhunt for those responsible, including Anthony Daniels. The hunt was on, and the stakes were higher than ever. The discovery had set a chain of events into motion that could not be stopped. The fight against drug trafficking had just become personal. The United States requested the extradition of the accused, including Daniels, to face charges related to narcotics trafficking. The alleged offenses are serious, shedding light on the gravity of the situation Daniels and his associates now find themselves in. The crimes are linked to a drug trafficking network that spanned from the sunny shores of Jamaica to the bustling streets of Philadelphia. Daniels is accused of playing a significant role in this network with US officials alleging that he was instrumental in coordinating and facilitating the transportation of illicit substances. He is believed to have had his hands in the pie from February to December of the previous year. The quantity of cocaine discovered at Philadelphia International Airport is said to be a direct result of his actions. The United States, showing no leniency, has come down hard on Daniels and his alleged co-conspirators. They've launched an extradition request a formal demand to the Jamaican government to surrender Daniels into their custody. This is a serious move, highlighting the international cooperation needed to tackle the global issue of drug trafficking. The extradition request is no small matter. If granted, Daniels will be transported to the United States to face trial for the charges leveled against him. He'll be put under the microscope of the US justice system, a daunting prospect for anyone. The potential penalties for narcotics trafficking can be severe, including hefty fines and long prison sentences. However, Daniels has the right to challenge the extradition request. This would set the stage for a legal battle, a fight not just for freedom but for sovereignty, jurisdiction and the rule of law. It's a complex situation, one that could have far-reaching implications for international relations and the fight against drug trafficking. Whether Daniels will challenge the extradition is yet to be determined.